Thank you. Thank you. Do I take the back? Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Who's excited about NSIP at 9 a.m. on a Friday morning? All right. <laughs> we are going to talk about making life a little easier with NSIP because computers are supposed to make our lives easier. I know that isn't how it actually feels on a daily basis, but it is supposedly the case. So we're going to talk about a project that is a collaboration between Equinox and Pales. And, and Katie, Katie will talk, will talk more, about more about the pale, pale side, side of it. Of it. And, and what we've what done, we've so, done far so far and, and where, where we are going, going in the future because, because it is not a completed project. project. Okay. okay, let's advance. Let's advance. So, so we'll, we'll do, do some, some quick round robin, robin introductions. introductions. I, I am Rogan Hamby, I'm with Equinox, I'm a data, I'm a data analyst, analyst, and, and I, I was the cat herder assigned for this project. project. So normally, normally my, my role is more technical, technical but, but the technical, technical role here was J.C. Boyer. Hello, yes, that's me. Uh, Jason Boyer, I'm the system administrator. Basically, just make sure it was running. running. And then uh, do some back and back forth, forth with, with their, their other, other vendor, vendor who, who we get along yeah. with acceptably. But but, uh, but, yeah, but yeah, so, so the, the more, more interesting, interesting part, part about this, this is actually evergreen, evergreen policy related because NSIP, NSIP messages, messages, as we'll see later, later not, not that, that complicated. complicated. I'm Katie Greenleaf, Greenleaf Martin, Martin, and, and I'm, I'm the uh, executive director of the Spark, Spark Consortium. Consortium. And, and uh, uh, my role in the project, project was um, having, having someone, someone tell me that, that these two pieces, pieces of software, software could talk to, talk to each, each other, other and, and then, then convincing, convincing everybody, everybody, else everybody, else everybody, everybody else around me to make, make it work. work. So, so we'll, we'll talk more about that later. And I'm Elizabeth Davis. I'm the support and project management specialist for uh, Pales. And I get to work with all the staff and tell them how amazing this is going to be and hopefully convince them to use it. Uh, a couple of quick pieces of housekeeping. housekeeping. One, Equinox offers more than, more than just Evergreen. Evergreen. Obviously, Obviously, everybody, everybody here probably, probably knows this for Evergreen. Evergreen. We, do we do some other stuff. stuff and, and I decided to throw this slide in because especially, especially discovery, discovery layers are a big deal these days. And we offer both of you find an asset. So if anybody's interested in those, feel free to stop by our booth. Another couple of quick pieces of housekeeping. We will leave plenty of time to the end for general discussion. And I, and hope I hope others, others in the audience, the audience have, have you know, their, their own bits and, bits and pieces, pieces to share and questions to ask. But if you, if have, you a have a question as we go along, along feel free to go ahead and raise your hand, hand and, and we will stop, stop and discuss it at that, that point. point. Don't, Don't hold, hold your, your questions, questions because, because then you then may you forget, forget them. them. That's, That's tragic. tragic. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this uh, is sort of just the general overview of what we're going to be talking about today, um, which is that we have a, a really robust statewide interlibrary loan consortium, part of our library that's called Access PA, uh, that uses a, uh, in this case, proprietary program that they've used for a long time to manage the statewide ILS system. And, and so, so we were uh, at, at, at our consortium, we are looking for a number of ways to Make, make it, it easier, easier for, for our, our members, members to interact, interact with that, that statewide ILS system. system. Um, um, and, and so, so what, we're what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about sort of how, how we got to where we are right now. Right now. Uh, the, planning, the planning uh, stages, uh, stages the evergreen setup and the uh, and uh, server setup, setup uh, and where uh, we are right now which is the testing um, and, and then, then uh, we're going to talk a little bit about, about rollout, rollout. So, so something, something that, that I always, I always uh, have, to have to tell other Evergreen Consortia is, is that Spark, which is our branding for the consortium run by the Pennsylvania Integrated Library System, does not have consortial level resource sharing, full stop. Not, not staff mediated, not, not you can't, can't move, move the things the around. around. Um, um, we, do we do have, have a really robust statewide, statewide ILL system, system which, which all of our public library members 
should, should be, be participating in. in. And, and we and ran, ran the numbers, numbers almost all, all of them are. Very, very pleased with that. that. Um, um, and, and patrons, patrons place requests, requests through, their through their local libraries, libraries uh, which uh, then the local libraries parcel out to typically the statewide ILL. We also, also have some members who have a national ILL subscription. So, so when, when I, I came, came uh, when I started, I started as the executive director in January, January and, and of 2022, 2022 the, the consortium, consortium, our consortium, which represents between 25 and 30 percent of all, all Pennsylvania libraries, libraries uh, depending, depending on if you look at locations, locations versus uh, administrative uh, units, units um, had, had no, no special, special treatment, treatment with the statewide ILL. ILL. We were, we were it, was it was like any like other single, single library vendor. So I met with the head of the nonprofit that runs the statewide ILL. ILL. And, and um, we, we both, both sort of looked, looked at each other and said, we should be making this easier for our members to use. To use. So, so um, what we, what started, we started talking, talking about, about, and, and this, this was a, a big element of our strategic, strategic plan as well, well at Hales, Hales, is how, how do we, we make, make life better, better for, for the libraries, libraries that are consortial members, members but, since, but since especially because, because we receive, receive significant support from LSTA, LSTA how do we how make life better for all Pennsylvania public libraries? And, and if we make it easier, easier and, faster and faster for our, for our libraries, libraries to request and ship things in the statewide ILL system, system, that helps our members, members obviously. obviously. It also helps the other libraries that they borrow from, from and lend to. So, so the first thing, thing that we did, that we did uh, was, uh, was to move to from, from quarterly mark uh, full, full file replacements, replacements, which Elizabeth, which Elizabeth got, got to do, to do. Uh, <laughs> like cordon <laughs> off the third of every month to do to let her computer run those uploads. Um, um, to, to uh, live liability, liability over, over Z3950, Z3950 which, which is uh, wonderful, wonderful and, and we love it. it. And, and uh, then, then the next part of this, this uh, which, we'll which we'll get much more into the details of how, how it works, uh, uh, is, is to use this standard, standard called NSIP to let, uh, in, this in this case, case the, the, the ILL system, system is called Share It, let the Share It project tell Evergreen what it's doing. Uh, so, uh, so that, that the ILL, the ILL staff, staff only, only have to, to make, make updates, updates on one side, side and then everything else is translated over to Evergreen. Evergreen. So we'll so talk, we'll talk about about, more about, more about how, how that works, works. But, that's, but that's that's the use, use case, case and that's, and that's the benefit, benefit is to dramatically reduce time per transaction and time to fulfillment for these libraries that are using our statewide ILL system. It's just... Oh, that's yeah. mine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> People were looking at me. I was like, oh, that's my side. Um, um, so planning, planning the project, this is, this is not the most exciting stuff to talk about, about but, but it is important. important. And, and I will admit, admit we were pretty we were loose on it. There wasn't there was a strict, strict deadline. deadline. We, we said, this is an enhancement. enhancement. This isn't this is a, a function, function that things that are going to fall apart, apart if it isn't implemented on a certain schedule. schedule. And, and frankly, frankly everybody, everybody involved, involved has, has these schedules, schedules already. already. So, so we said, uh, we originally uh, said we hoped to go live with this in December of 2022. That did not happen. And we did, and we not, did not sleep, sleep over it. it. We, we just, just we set a set mile, mile, we set milestones, we, we worked, worked to, reach to reach them, them and, and when it became, became infeasible, we just we shifted the goal goals. And, and we were okay, we were okay with that. With and and how did how we did just we proceed with this? this? Well, well, we started, we started by, bringing by bringing all the stakeholders, all the stakeholders together. together. We put together an email list. We, we said at first we do video calls as needed. It kind, it kind of became, of became apparent pretty, pretty soon, soon that, that people, people needed, needed a little, little bit of a cattle, cattle prod, prod to, get to get going. going. So, so instead of it being loosey goosey by email, email, we started scheduling more frequent video, video calls, calls just because that, that seemed, seemed to be a good motivator, motivator for, for people to get, get stuff done. done. And yeah. we set up front that, that we needed need test servers. servers. We, we, we were not, not going to subject the frontline ILL library staff to this without testing out everything thoroughly. So, so on the on Evergreen, Evergreen side, side, on our, on Sequoia, our Sequoia platform, platform we, already we already had test had servers in place, so that so wasn't a problem. problem. And, and it turned out that on the Sherrit side, side, they didn't, they have, didn't a have a test server per se, per but they had, they had a training server that could that work as one. So, so we, did we did all that and set INSEP up for both. And then on the PIL side, Katie and Elizabeth identified some test users, these, these libraries, libraries that are, that are pretty, pretty savvy, savvy and, and 
adopt, adopt uh, new, practices new practices pretty quickly. quickly. And, and so, so that, that became, became our plan. plan. And yeah. I noted I down, down the end, end for those who, who ever did, did any programming, programming way, back way back in the day, in the day. Uh, we, uh, had we had a tentative schedule, schedule, and when and it didn't work, work, we went, we went back, back to step, step one, one and repeated. And repeated. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, now, on the on evergreen, evergreen side, side, there are, there a, are few a few interesting, interesting decisions, decisions to make. To make. One, one of which, which is, is how, how are you, are you going, going to wrangle where all, all of these transactions, these transactions are going, are going to, be to be associated? Well, well this, this is where Jason's experience, experience in Indiana became very useful. And, and rather, rather than, than reinvent the wheel, wheel we, said, we said, you know what? You, know what? you discovered through trial and error what worked. We're just going to copy them because, because we're, we're not dumb. dumb. And, and we discovered, we discovered that, that the best, best way to do was to set up a new org unit, unit that, that would, would handle, handle these transactions. transactions. Uh, uh, in, our in our case, case a system, system level and a branch. And then, and then all of these INSIP users, which are proxies for organizations, would be assigned as... Patrons, patrons to, to that, that new NCIP org unit. And, and then that, then that needs, needs an NCIP permission, permission group. group. And, and we have, we have details, details out there, out there about, about what permissions are needed to be assigned. assigned. It's very, very simple. simple. And oh, oh we, also we also found, found out, out that we needed, needed to mirror the names, names on the share it side. side. We, also we also found, found out some interesting, interesting things about case sensitivity. That are, that not, are fun not fun about, about names. names. Be very, be very, very careful, careful because, because when you mirror, mirror those share side, side names, names there, there might, might be other names in your existing, your existing Evergreen database, database that were created for ILL purposes, purposes, purposes that, are that are exactly the same, the same but in a different, different case. case. And, and share, share it does not care about the case, case but Evergreen, Evergreen does. does. And we discovered, we discovered that one of the easiest things to do was just to prefix the new accounts. Keep them, Keep them all lowercase, lower put, put a unique prefix, prefix on them that nobody, nobody would naturally, naturally do. do. I, I, I suggested suggest snickerdoodle, snickerdoodle as the prefix, prefix but, but I was, I was outvoted, outvoted for something, for something more practical. practical. <laughs> all, right. all right, let's, let's advance. advance. And yeah. off to off Jason. Jason. I enjoy this part because it's actually quite short. <laughs> so in SIP server itself, the code is available at that Git repository. It's not very large. It's not very complicated. Uh, the instructions are actually very well written. Um, you just have to clone that code into just any directory you like. It's a little bit like SIP server. I like to use the same location kind of slash op slash SIP server. Uh, you do need to install some additional files. This list is not, not part, part of Evergreen's, Evergreen's normal, normal prerequisites, prerequisites but, but in some server, server has some interesting backend pieces, pieces say that's, that's what's required, required to keep them keep running. running. And then, and then there, there are at least two, two places, places where, you where you need to make configuration, configuration changes. changes. Uh, um, there's, there's the main, main configuration, configuration file, file and, and an additional, additional one, one which, which if you don't, if you don't move, move it, it's actually, actually in a sample, sample directory, directory and, and it's a lot of fun to remember, remember when you're looking for where the change needs to be made. made. But, but uh, uh, they're, they're not too, too bad. bad. They're, they're not too complicated. complicated. Next, Next please. please. All right. All right. However, However, there is also, also a third configuration, configuration file, file that, that Evergreen needs, needs to look at, at and it and does need to have a little bit more. Uh, you uh, need, to, need have to have the NSIP server, server username, username, password, and, and you need to create a workstation, workstation for them because, because they will be doing, doing a lot of CERC transactions. transactions. You need, you to, need know to know if you want to try, try pre-cats, pre which, which my memory is hazy, hazy on, on at the moment. moment. Do they work, they work as, as I expected? Do they, Do they not? not? We'll have to look at that later. Uh, using force holds, I would actually recommend if you are setting this up that you do this because they are great. So it simplifies uh, some hold policy rules. And you need to, I would recommend also creating a new bib source because running in SIP server, you will have ugly bibs for you. And it would be nice to track them down and occasionally you just wipe them out. And I believe you see your bib source management's coming in 3.11. Yeah, Rogan suggests that perhaps better <laughs> bib source management <laughs> interfaces will be available in 3.11. This is not morning for me to- so I'm being optimistic on this. <laughs> Uh, but then also you can do things like block patron profiles if you want to prevent certain users, perhaps uh, reciprocal borrowing. Bring too much jargon into. Uh, you don't bring want too much uh, jargon into local, not exactly, exactly full taxpayer level users using your, your uh, 
uh, IOL, uh, IOL services, services necessarily. necessarily. And, and there are some additional there are some options additional just for options share it, just kind of like for this, share it, kind of like this, ID or barcode, user, user response. Barcode and the user uh, we, response. Actually, I think we added that in here to make some share things work a little more easily and require even less staff. Uh, changes in uh, changes the shared in, interface. Shared interface. And I and don't, think, I don't necessarily think necessarily want your transit to be You do have the option. Canceled, but if you like. <laughs> so, so the last, last time, time I did an incident presentation was an internal staff, internal staff meeting. I forgot meeting. to show them just to show them just XML what thing an XML thing we're dealing thing with here. Uh, these are uh, these highly compressed, missing most of the message, just to give you kind of an idea of how wordy this would be. Testing is but actually testing quite is actually simple, quite simple since, since you just need to post this one text, one text blob, blob to your SMA, and you'll similar get text one blob of two things, right there with similar text blob results of your message request, or a 500 dancer error telling you to check one of your configuration files. And if you if you, if you have, have some, some sample uh, messages, messages from your vendor, vendor, you can just save it to a local directory on your disk is to do two file off test requests, requests at your server. At your server. So I have so several I have of these several actually uh, locally, actually, uh, locally uh, for testing. For testing. And I will say you will and want will to work with whatever other with vendor whatever is running the IOL system to get their specific test messages. Having worked because with at least two now, having worked not, with at least two now, do not need to look anything, like, anything like, like enjoy creating from your own test messages standard, from the which last I looked for is in about 106 pages. Something, 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 something designed by committee. I'm not sure. <laughs> but, but <laughs> I believe that's next. next. Uh, hey. <laughs> So now that we've finished all the preliminary testing, making sure all the connections work, um, we get to start with our pilot libraries. We selected two specific workflows and their organizational structure. We have a slightly larger library, and a very, small, very small library, but they are power users of uh, access, so we need to be able to handle and change the workflow. Um, so from there, we'll be able to create documentation, done it from Pales, as well as uh, access PA uh, staff members in there, kind of seeing how it's working for everyone. Um, hopefully, that will allow us to the next main program in general. Um, hopefully, the changes in the workflows won't be too dramatic for them. But uh, we're kind of preparing for anything and everything to happen. Um, even in our plan, our testing, we found out that NSIP and Hard Boundaries holds for the rest of the system so that they can also participate in the future, because we have quite a few library systems that use Hard Boundaries. Um, so, so that'll be fun to rework. Our libraries have quite a variety of uh, ILO workflows. Um, some use precats, some use short bib records, some use centralized ILO with a combo of short and precats. I'm a little worried. <laughs> I'm not sure how people will adapt, but we'll try and make it work for everyone. Um, the nice, the nice thing, though, is that we're hoping that, that this will cut down on our pre nice, nice thing we found with NSIP is that once the item is checked in, in, um, in, access, in access, the bib record is deleted. Record is so deleted. now so the libraries now don't, don't have, have to, which is currently what they are doing. Um, with some <laughs> yeah, 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 really excited yeah, about now. Um, so hopefully um, that will clean up the database a lot more efficiently, which it's kind of on the libraries to do that and form and doing that. And then we're going to be very strategic and hopefully get our power users have access. Power We've been users, working with uh, the access, folks at Access PA, see who's using, using the, the heaviest and target, out, and hopefully the their else, enthusiasm will inspire you know, the app, uh, adoption by the other libraries. Um, it is optimal. Libraries. They don't have to do this, uh, um, but we're hoping they will. So make it easier for everyone. those who don't currently participate, we, like Katie said, we have a few that just flat out for like no. So hopefully they decide that it is worth the time and effort to get trained on it and that they currently were getting because they decided not to participate. So those are our next steps and hopefully those successful. We'll be starting those hopefully. later in May. Maybe next week. Maybe next week. But um, we're really excited and uh, but, um, hope you have questions. If you don't have questions, we will do carry out. I don't know who's uh, <laughs> When I say we, I know it's you. I did my penance last night. Um, I do see a couple folks from uh, um, Indiana and maybe from, uh, CW uh, Mars who have implementations of this. So I would love to hear from some of you about how, what you like, if there's anything that you don't uh, like, some of a viola integration. Types of integration, we would love to hear about that too. Jeremy Murray from uh, the Indiana State Library, library Edward, Indiana. Indiana. And with our and NSIP implementation, our implementation um, my initial um, introduction to it a year ago was finding out that we were having trouble with it. Um, and turns, uh, out, turns that out that for some reason, for some reason well, it was, it was, it was, it was the, the uh, 
I had to troubleshoot figure out some tricks for him via yeah, 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 patch. Yeah, yeah, properly, properly, and that properly, and caused problems. problems. And so that was and like, so oh, okay, like, wow, oh, I figure this out. And, um, and then when I actually looked further, further into it, into, uh, into, okay, that is in the instructions. And so that's something that is very important there. But other than that, I've had really no problems installing our test service. So it's been worked pretty well. Most of it has been the making sure the proper workflow is adhered to. Now, computers are picky. I mean, one of the versions of files. I mean, geez. Um, uh, that's a good use for AI, patching and making sure files are updated. Um, now, in a specific life easier for ILL librarians, there are still some manual steps. There are things that it would be nice if it were extended with add annually. Jason, if you want to talk, want to talk about that a little? About that a little? Good. Don't give people options you don't want them to take. So, so, so I, I didn't realize how you gone through this presentation and actually explain that in depth, in depth, what in depth what or what InSIP does. does. So, so when you receive an, so when you an item receive from a Linux library, from you go to your ILL resource check system hey, and say, hey, I just got this item, just got this item through, through a carrier. carrier. It's great. Here it is. Here it is. It's, it's got a barcode, barcode and everything. It's nice. And then the resource check system sends an InSIP message to everyone saying, hey, Except this, I swear the ivory cats or the big records, whatever, whatever created in your system, system, the whole, which, which is may or may not be forced, is forced placed. Place. And then, and then, Evergreen will do it. Hey, hey, you've got a whole waiting for you to come get it, set sort of thing, whatever notification you've got. And then they come and check up. the item out. That's and then they come and check the item out. That's the deal. deal. To the cert desk, you can go straight to your ILL folks. They'll go back straight to your ILL folks. They'll go back to you for it. So I share it. And they will say, hey, I'm returning this item to the Lending Library. And then that will have resource sharing systems tell everyone, hey, you know that book I told you check about? It in, check it in. Forget about it. Forget it. About it. Don't even worry about that anymore. anymore. So that's when so that's when they're deleted. The precats are gone. gone. It's all it's a great, great time. time. So that's, that's a little bit more of why it is so it's helpful. So helpful. Like most of your actual work can keep just track of keep it track behind the scenes. Behind scenes. Does that help or Does have that made it worse? Worse. The universe explodes. The universe explodes. It's no worse than googling Google in But. So right now, if it's in CCA or library, once you restart the library, it's borrowed via micro library system. Evergreen says, hey, you check your own. Yes. 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 So, so it, it will still it, it will still do that on the evergreen side. side it will at, be the same. At, at, what does at, still need to happen does still need to is happen that whatever dummy barcode um, because dummy it won't check it in. If you use, it the, dummy it if you use the dummy barcode, it won't. Whether so, then uh, you go like you get it after it's come through the cert desk. Whether you then receive it and share it, or it just gets shipped back to the own library and they mark it as returned. At that point, then share will understand what's happening. Check in. It knows. It knows that that's the barcode. And so, it will, as long as somebody updates some it and share it at some okay. point, it will still be okay. But if you check in the dummy barcode that you were using, it'll say in transit to access PA and then staff hopefully know to send it to the ILL person. <laughs> send it to you. Yes. Yes. One, One final thing for me on that is no big deal, such as, as check in as an item that happens to already be checked in that just continues, continues on. on. Uh, um, just to expand on dummy barcodes a little bit, bit, we do recommend you use dummy barcodes. This particular scenario we were talking about is an talking item transitioning uh, through that already exists, so to speak, in Evergreen, uh, that already exists in to Evergreen, to Evergreen, across Evergreen across Evergreen Library System. Dummy barcode is still a good idea, using idea a in general, still because idea obviously in general, if you're getting an ILL from someplace across the country, it could collide with a barcode in your system. And if you are in a large consortia, your barcode range is in plus it's a kindness to future data work people. We because we love to be able to, be able to, to actually identify why the heck, heck this thing is in the system, system. By, by, by an easy visual pattern rather, rather than having to do the equivalent of And I think this out. hits both Rogan and, and Angie and hit on something for us is, you know, um, we had, we had uh, I, feel like really I feel like a really good collaboration between our, our nonprofit, the nonprofit that runs the statewide ILL, are together really nicely. And, and the, the, the ILL vendor was, was like, okay, when do we turn it on? We're like, no, 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 no. Because, because we, because this, this has, has to be for us library by library, is that it does, they're already doing dummy barcodes, they already have this kind of figured out, um, and they're doing it in a way that's consistent. There are a number of perfectly fine ILL workflows that aren't going to be consistent with this. So we are um, going to, you know, start consider, um, we have, we have clients, 
um, who are doing 800 and 1,000 transactions a month with access fees. So we're going to start kind of at the, at the highest number and spread it from there. Uh, so this this isn't, uh, as much so as I would love to turn it on for everybody all at once, that's, that's not going to work. Day, um, and we did one day, um, so the ILO vendor will also allow for and which can be, would still be staff mediated. Which can yes. be. Um, <laughs> So there are there are a number of like options and integrations that we can continue to um, slow the same ethos with, in mind of we're improving know, the service for Pennsylvania libraries and Pennsylvania libraries libraries users, users, both at, both our, at our client libraries and, and at the libraries that do ILO business with them. So, so to, to provide, provide a little, little bit of summation, summation uh, about, about the function, function of NSIP, if you think about think ILL, ILL is kind of a two-sided two process. process. Updating, updating the ILL management, ILL management side, updating side, the evergreen side, this implementation this basically cuts down the evergreen side. Uh, you can log it into Zoom. Uh, you can log it into Zoom. I don't know if you want to switch to Zoom sessions. No, don't do that. Either, either. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. Okay, maybe. Can you give? Do you have it available by URL that I can, can you type? You have, you know, that's not, not a super, super long Google URL. With you could do. You could do it. We prepared, we prepared very, very carefully for this. While she's doing while she's that. Doing that um, one, one thing, thing we, we did, did talk about, about also is, wouldn't, wouldn't it be, be nice, nice if the uh, share it side, uh, the, uh, the ILL, ILL management side also, also could, could be more automated by NSIP? Yes, yes, it would. And maybe, maybe we'll get a chance to look at that down the road. Now, this, now this, this, this is a situation, situation of an incumbent, incumbent system that's well used. Well used. And I will say Autographics, I will say Autographics has been a great has partner, partner for us on this. On this. Katie was listening Katie institution. Was listening I suddenly had a homage to three weddings and a funeral, three nonprofits and a corporation. No, opportunities um, missed. I can type it in but, but, but if, if you're doing, doing this from scratch, scratch there, are there are other options. options. I'll mention fulfillment. I'm kind of proud of it, I'm proud of it since I work on it myself. And it does something similar to share it. It has this really cool evergreen. Clearly not, not an, an option, option though, where you already have statewide ILO sharing, sharing and everybody's invested in a setup. A setup. Yeah. Low chart creator, come up here. Low chart creator, come up here. No, um, the you have the requesting phase. So you have a uh, patron requesting an item at the library. The and then all of the yellows. Can you zoom out for a second? I have a key chart, chart at the bottom. bottom. Explain. So uh, all so, the yellow uh, actions, all are, the the yellow actions are the requesting all libraries. Are what all the greens are what will happen in it will happen and share it. And then the and supply share it. library and are the actual supply. tasks that the staff have to do. So put in, you know, staff physically put in, put in the you know, search. Staff request, physically put in the search, put in the request, you share it, places it on hold for the patron on behalf of the borrowing library. They ship it. And then depending on if they participate, it, it will via NSIP, it item. will check out the library okay. item and then they take it <laughs> and, then it <laughs> and then when it returns, so then in circulation, they so then in circulation, they check it out. Everything works. 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 Return to make this a long picture instead of <laughs> fitting on any of the 11. Uh, then the uh, workflow, depending on where it's going and how the library is interested, and interested, and it'll give them an idea, give them an idea of, what of what they have to do. So the patrons don't do it. It's not patrons. No, they currently no, do not allow that because a lot of uh, patrons are requesting the ILL and requesting a, it, their local they library might, might already own it. They might, and then if not, they would go out then to access. Uh, and then access. if not access, then, and then maybe a national ILL We do have many uh, members who have a patron uh, request right, form, as, as, um, as, right, as Sherrod uh, has a patron is, request Jared function, and that is not uh, turned on for anybody statewide is, right now. Um, so that uh, we, would, we would love to be their partners in, in not, that nonprofit the, hosting the solutions and library consulting um, that they're interested in. So we're hoping that once we get this kind of semi rolled out, that'll be the next thing. But we're not we're not quite there yet. Well, uh, well, yeah, yeah. So the, the way, the way I think the way that the the, uh, the share it request form is that they just put in their barcode, and then the staff is going to separately look at that. Um, um, there are there are like actions to do some of that, some of and, that. and uh, uh, even the hosting the solutions and library consultants will look very overwhelmed when they mentioned it. So and I think that's going to be a way out for us. Yeah. 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 The problem is most of the requests, more than a few of the requests are made by patrons who don't. Yes, yes. So then there's there's a question about who can borrow what and um the Pennsylvania service areas are very complicated. And so we, some some of our libraries have like tiered library card access where the, where they can get that. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'll be happy to mediate for you. Everybody gets access to the library. <laughs>
Everybody should have library services. There are many complicating factors in all states. Pennsylvania has a complicated municipal system. And so we work with libraries as much as we can to provide the best services that they can provide to their patrons. Wait, wait, wait. But seriously, any other questions? Seriously, any other questions? Well, I, well, I think our schedule time is 145, is that correct? Is that correct? So, so if you, if have, you any have any other questions, other questions you want to ask, but not be on the record, you're welcome to come up here and chat with us.